hey guys welcome to my youtube channel on um, today's video we'll be drawing an eclipse sorry an ellipse not eclipse it's pronounced or uh, what's called an ellipse okay before okay so before we draw this ellipse those of you that have not subscribed to my youtube channel please make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel if you don't know how to subscribe there is um there's an icon down there that's written subscribe just click on it and then click on the bell then you have subscribed okay thank you for those that have subscribed thank you for subscribing you also get more videos the essence of you subscribing is so that by the time i drop more videos concerning this your academic stuff you can want to get access to them fast so um we start now now today's drawing we're giving diameter of oh sorry the length of one of the side let's, let's call it l so the length they gave us to be 160 okay millimeter okay and so the breadth it was to be 80 millimeter that means the length of this of the rectangle 160 breadth 80 millimeter okay so let us start drawing So the first thing we do is to draw the rectangle and this is my T square, I just draw a straight line, okay? Draw a straight line and then I mark out 160 millimeter from here. Okay, my ruler stops at 150, so I just draw this, then extend a little kind of. So I do this, okay. So if I measure, this is one fifty, okay. Then many h plus is one cm. Okay, so I'm correct. So this is one sixty millimeter. So let's get the breadth. That's eight cm. You can try to use your French, your set square your ruler. As the case may be, it's your choice. You can put it and then measure eight cm. Or draw it straight. Okay. So measure eighty. And also put it to. Then we draw the line 80 up. Measure 80. And then we join those two points. Now we have gotten our square. Okay? Gotten our square and our distance. This is one six. Okay. So, next thing to do is to divide this part into two equal parts. And this is 14. This is 18. Half of it is 14. This is 80. Half is 14. This is 160. A half should be 80. This is 162. Half should be 80. So, we join. Then we'll join this two. Okay, so after joining that, now what we'll do next, we divide this line into four equal parts. Now this is 40. 40 divided by 4 will give you 10. That is 10 millimeter per, per distance division. But in, in situation where you have something like 3 here, that's when we employ our calculator. Maybe you can do 3, um, 30 divided by 4, which will give us 7.5, okay? You can use 7.5 millimeter or 0 0.7 cm, 0.75 centimeter, as the case may be. But we're having a kind of a specific or a particularistic measurement. So we, here is 4, dividing 2.4 parts, so it's 1, 1 each. So you have 1, 1, 1. You understand? Now, coming here to... Divide into four equal parts, we have one, 
one, one. Same thing we'll do it here too. One, one, one. And one, one. Once it's divided by 80, you give it 20 centimeter, 20 millimeter. So we're using two, okay, two, 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 this two, okay. Then we'll come here to just go in two, 20, 40, 60, and then the last one. Okay, now after doing this, we can measure, we can number, sorry, one, zero, one, two, three. Same thing here, one, two, three. And also number here to one two three for here one two three the same thing this way to one two three and one two three okay now the next thing for us to do is to join this point to all these points what do i mean like three join them all to this midpoint okay Turn them up to this midpoint. Okay, so we did the same thing here, did the same thing here. Now, mind you, don't join here to this last point, okay? Don't join here to this last point. We, we don't need it. So we'll do the same thing down to joining this point to this path. Okay, so we're joining to two. Okay, so we have successfully joined our points, okay? We need to join the center to this part. Now, next thing for us to do, we have to be extremely careful now. Watch. We are starting from this point, passing through one, to stop at line one. This is line one. Watch what I'm doing. From this point, okay? Passing through one, stopping at line one. So, here, passing through one, stopping at line one. From here, two. Going through two. Passing through two, stopping at line two. Okay. Here two, passing through three, stopping at line three. Do the same thing this way too. One, passing through one, stopping at line one. Passing through two, stopping at point. Okay, point two, sorry. Stopping at point two. Okay. So I've done that for this. And mind you, I mean, I'm kind of mistake here. It's not supposed to stay. It's supposed to stop here, okay? Now, I'll do the same thing here for this one. One, passing through one, stopping at line one. Okay? And then, passing through two, stopping at line two. So we have done that. Passing now, first to get our ellipse, okay? Now, let's call here A, starting from A, this point. Let's call here A2. Then B, B. Starting from A, now to this point, where to stop here? I see the point. Now to this point here too. Where all this line stopped? To this point. Then back to B. Then to this point again. Okay, right? Can you see it? Okay. Back to this point. Back to point A. Then we'll go again. Where all this line stop? Remember here, this is where the line stop. Okay, not here. It's a mistake, kind of. And then here. Back to this point here 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 and back to here now next thing for us to do is with a french curve like a nice french curve you join all these points so let's join the points okay so with a nice french curve we're able to join all our points all these points okay we're able to join them Nice French, and then we had this circle. Now, this circle is what is known as our ellipse. So, I've finally achieved our diagram. That's the ellipse. Thank you guys for watching my video. Please, as usual, subscribe to my channel, share my videos with your friends because they might be in need of it, maybe in other schools. This video will also help you in preparing for your exams, your tests, because some lecturers love setting this question. For exams or tests so please practice with it and make sure you practice more and more because practice makes perfect thank you once more enjoy your day